the Motorola Photon Q 4G LTE is Sprint's latest 4G LTE smartphone. With it, you get 4G LTE connectivity in select cities and a great laser cut QWERTY keyboard. There are five rows, so we have a dedicated number row, which is very nice for entering anything with digits in it. Key placement is really good. Feedback for typing, you get a tactile click, 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 and you also get a good touch feedback. There's not as much travel as on something like the Samsung Stratosphere, but this remains one of our favorite mobile keyboards. Because of this keyboard, we do have a slightly thicker phone, but it's not on Weldy. On the back, we have our speaker, and the speaker gives us good sound. I'm not going to blow you out of the water, but it is loud enough to listen to on the sink while you're in the shower or to fill up a small room. We have an impressive 8 megapixel camera. This camera, unlike many other Motorola cameras, is fast so that we can take snapshots really quick and it also does 1080p HD video and you can take still photos while you're shooting video. On the top is our power button and a headphone jack and along the right hand side of the device our volume up and down and our dedicated camera shutter button. We also have a micro USB for charging and a micro HDMI for output to a HDTV. The Photon Q 4G LTE runs Android 4.0.4, that's Ice Cream Sandwich. There's no word on an upgrade to Jelly Bean with Google Now and the speed enhancements of Project Butter, but we hold out hope since it is a newer phone. One nice touch, this comes with an unlockable bootloader, so users who like to root and unlock and customize the phone will be able to do that. These icons down here are not just regular icons, they allow you to flip up to access more information. So in this case, if I flip up on the text messages, I can see recent text messages in bookmarks, or on browser I can see bookmarks, other different things. Those are just built in, so they won't be available for every icon, but it's a nice touch. The circles widget up here at the top allows you to flip through and see different information. By default, you'll see the time, your local weather, and battery life. What you can do is flip that to see the weather in other cities, to access settings for the widget, to switch to a different clock, and if we have these notifications enabled, if I have a text, missed call, or voicemail, I'll be able to see that right here instead of the clock, so it's a nice touch. There is no real Sprint branding on this device, so it's a nice clean phone, and overall, fairly impressive. Unfortunately, Sprint's 4G LTE network is not available in many cities, so if you're outside of those cities, it's tough to spend $200 on this phone just for 4G. If you need a great keyboard, this phone will definitely fit the bill. Head over to gottobemobile.com to check out our full review of the Motorola Photon Q 4G LTE on Sprint.